In this video, we're going to take a look at changing the layout and appearance of your Chessbase 11 program. You can see here on the Chessbase 11 main screen, we've got three main window panes open. The one on the left here is the folder pane. The main pane is this one, the database window. And here's the database preview window. Now there's a few ways you can change these around. And the easiest way to do that is accessed via the View tab here. You can see in the section for panes, there's three entries each with tick boxes. So if we want to remove the database preview window, simply uncheck the box here by clicking on it. To bring it back, click again, puts a check in the box and here's the database preview window back. You can do that also with the folder window and the status bar which is the bar right at the bottom of the screen here. Now you can also remove panes by simply clicking on the X in the top right hand corner here. You'll see when I do that the check mark in the folder box has disappeared. So to get the folder pane back, just click one more time. You can also move the panes about. So say you want your folders on the right hand side instead of the left hand side, click the toolbar here at the top. Hold the left mouse button down and drag the window pane around. So here you can see the window pane suddenly started floating above the other panes. You also see this little icon here which is like a cross symbol. I'll explain what that means in a moment. So you can have the window pane floating around but actually a really good way to have it done automatically is use this symbol. By the way all the time I'm moving this around I've still got the left mouse button held down. So if we want to move the, pol the folder window over to the right hand side, while keeping the mouse button down, just simply drag the mouse over to this right hand side here. When we let go, you'll see the folder pane has automatically locked itself into the right hand side. You can do that to the bottom and to the top of the database window. And that of course takes it over to the left. Now you'll notice when I do that, it's only taking it to the right hand side of the database window. The database preview window now stretches across the entire bottom of the screen. And that's why you've got these other icons here. This means you can, move, you can click and drag over any of these to automatically lock the pane to any particular side of the screen. And you can see that when you do drag over it, a blue area is highlighted which shows you where the folder pane will be if you let go of the left mouse key. So if you can see here, I let go of the mouse key and the folder pane is now locked on the right hand side. You can do this with any of the panes, like the database preview pane. And it also works in a board window. Here you can see the only pane I've got open at the moment is the Notation and Openings Book pane. But if we go to the View tab, you can see a whole series of checkboxes for different panes. So for instance, if we want an Openings Book pane here, as well as the Notation pane, we can move that down to the bottom or along to the right hand side depending on how you prefer it. One of the other things to note is you can also resize the panes. Just move to the side of any of them and you'll see your mouse cursor change to the two lines with the two arrows. Click and drag will resize any of the windows.
the final thing to notice is here we have a series a default layout button. Once you've got the layout you want you can save the current layout by clicking here. You can load any of the game layouts that you've got, got saved here. This is a whole list of standard layouts so say you want the board only you can simply click here. And finally, if you want to reset the layouts back to how they were when the program was first installed, simply click here on Factory Settings. As the name implies, it resets the program back to how it was when it came out of the factory. So there you go, a whole series of options to change the layout and appearance of Chessbase 11.